Apple announced tvOS 10 at WWDC, and it includes a few new features. Here's what to expect. So there aren't a ton of new features, but there are some. So first off, it's called Single Sign-On. This allows you to sign in with your cable subscription once, and when you do, you can see all of the apps that work with your subscription. So you no longer have to sign in to every single app after you download it. This just makes the setup process much easier. Now, once set up, there's also a bit of a new look. Now you can have a dark mode, which gives you a dark interface throughout, and this is a big difference compared to the normal bright white interface. Siri also got a few updates. Now you can search for movies by topic, so you can say something like, find me movies with animals or documentaries about history, and Siri will bring it up. Siri can also now search YouTube, so you can say, search YouTube for, and then what you want to search, and it'll bring it up. Also, there's a new feature called Live TuneIn, so if you have an app that features live video, you can ask Siri to watch that app and it will bring up that live video. Some of the built-in apps also got updates. The Apple Music app now has the same tabs as in iOS, and in the Photos app, you now have a Memories tab to sort through photos based on content and location. There's also automatic downloads of apps that you download onto your iOS device, and app badges. Now one new feature is a continuity keyboard, so when you're on the Apple TV and need to type, if you have your iPhone, you will get prompted to use a keyboard, even if you don't have any apps installed. This just works through continuity over the air. But there also is a new Apple TV app that will be coming that includes all the same features as the Siri remote and also the ability for playback controls and a keyboard. There's also support for HomeKit, so you can control all your HomeKit enabled devices right from the Apple TV with Siri. And lastly, there's now the option for developers to require games to use controllers, so no longer do you have to use the Siri remote, you can have games that just use a controller. So this is what's new in tvOS 10. It's still in beta, so we will see updates, but this is what to expect when tvOS is released in the fall. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to see when new videos are out, and visit MacRumors.com for more. I want to thank you for watching. I'm Matt Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.